Let me show you how to build this insane scroll effect inspired by last year's Wix Studio and Pantone Color of the Year collection. Let's do it. All right, first, let me come up to the top left corner, go into View, Sizing Preferences, and Advanced Sizing. In this first part, we're gonna be constructing the initial scroll effect you see right here. Then in our section, let's change the background color and set up five rows. The first with 200 view height and the rest with 100 view height. Then we're gonna drop in another container and make it full width. Turn on Advanced CSS Grid and I'll make it a five by three grid. Set up the rows kind of like this and make sure position sticky is turned on. This kind of template is what's gonna allow us to easily build all of these sections in this video and the next one. Finally, in the very middle column and row, let's add another container and stretch it. Add a border all the way around and one pixel of padding so that we can actually see that border. Add another container, remove the background and then stretch it to fill. And finally, let's drop in one last container, stretch it and add in a second row. The first row will have a height of one FR and the second a height of 47 pixels. We're gonna add animations to each of these sections a little later to nail the timing on the final animation. Importantly, make sure to switch this container's color to brown. Then we can drop in our image which has the same background color as our section and position it in the top column and stretch it all the way out. For a text row, I'm gonna add in a container with a title and a line divider to it to cover up the brown background. Nicely done. Now we just need to position a little text and start animating. Let's add in our heading and some subtext just below. Then stack it and place that stack in a container, which we can then center and position 35VH from the top. Then just go ahead and set the position type to sticky and also 35VH. Now to achieve this scroll effect, grab the text container and select the animation tab. Animation type will be out and we'll grab shrink. Then just go ahead and adjust the settings just like so. Now here is where we're really gonna take things to the next level. Grab a container and then we'll remove the background. Importantly, set the the height to 620 pixels and 590 pixels from the top until I have something like this. Then we can add in a fade out animation to it, but for the text above with these settings. The reason that we do this is so we can have ultra fine control when these fade outs happen and give them a little bit of delay. Now let's go ahead and just add in our final touches here. Our centered container will have a fade out too with these settings. And then the container within it will animate in with a shrink with the following settings. And the container within that will also animate in and shrink with slightly different settings. Last but not least, we'll fade in the text container with these settings and same idea for our image with very similar settings to the text. And with all of that set up, we get one of the smoothest scroll animations you could imagine. And that's only part one. In the next tutorial, we'll take this design and add even richer animations to it to end up with something like this. In the meantime, check out another tutorial.